Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. Sorry to hear that. You're sorry? Well, consider it resolved then. Now, mind showing some added compassion? Could mean a miraculous recovery to me. Listen, Reuven. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Orson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet and lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue, though. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got nought to do with the casino officially. So careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tribe. Ah, and you do realize, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. So kind as to follow me. Bah, stop that! Now! Bah, man! Bah, make Ziggy lose, Jonathan! Beating your head against the wall won't change that. Bah, hard! Bah, less thinky! Bah, less thinky! Bah, Sadler! Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And see that door? Vault behind it, until recently filled with Novigrad crowns and countless other valuables. But God! Then boom! Chorfun, go! Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff. And you will help me get it back. I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life, here. Thanks. You've naught to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate.
Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty boat's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Dandelion, what the hell have you gotten yourself into? Pipe's great. Explosion crumpled it like a piece of paper. And there's mortar on the bars. So it was in place at the time of the explosion. Blast tore it from the wall. Bits of pipe clear over here. Must have been one powerful blast. Edges curled out. Something inside blew it wide open. Wall too. Hmm. Bathhouse drain pipes seem to converge here. No traces of magic. This was no spell. It was a bomb. How you like that silver? cylinder most likely. Runes etched in the bottom. It's warped, probably by the explosion. Bomb part. Must be. Smells like wyvern oil and caramel. That'd be it down here. Time to see Dijkstra. sewers near your vault. Well, learn anything? Seems to me a bomb blew the wall open. Look. Bottom of a silver cylinder, probably. Covered in runes. Interesting. Any idea what it contained? Recognized some ingredients by their scent. Wyvern oil? And sugar. Sugar? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests. Am I? Just saying what I found. Bomb contained sugar. Let's think. Sugar would react violently with sulfuric acid, but not so violently to cause an explosion. Didn't know you were versed in alchemy. Dabbled in it a bit, while at Oxenford Academy. But this is no time to reminisce. You're to find my treasure, not write my biography. Know anything else about this bomb? Sarcasm. I missed it. Really? Hmm. About as much as I'd miss a knife in my knickers. All right. You inspect the pools on the right, I'll take the ones on the left. Holler if you find anything.
Nothing interesting. Something floating on the surface. Oil looks like. Silver lid. Matches the cylinder bottom I found in the sewer. Dijkstra, come here. Got something? Yeah, bomb part. Happen. Drain pool four, and bring me the guest book. Chop, chop. Let's see what's on the bottom. Grate's been removed from the drain, meaning they flushed the bomb down here. Happen. Who used this pool the day of the break-in? Let me see. Uh, Bertolt Heinz, town councilman, Josef Schweik, brewer, and Margrave Henkel. Henkel? That's impossible. Margrave Henkel, who's that? Who was that, you mean? Old Coop's been eating dirt since last winter. Couldn't have been here the day of the break-in. He's dead. I'd not heard. Not surprising. The Honourable Margrave croaked in a brothel, decked out in leather lingerie, so the family held a hush-hush funeral. But I have my sources. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him that fateful day, Mr. Reuven. I'm certain of it. Did you speak to him? Get a good look at him? No. He merely passed by on the way in. So you didn't see Henkel. You saw an impersonator. Think for once. They scooped out your balls, not your brain. And you, Geralt, start looking into this. Fine. Where should I start? Henkel's home. Derelict townhouse south of the main square. You might happen on some trace of this scoundrel we're looking for there. Well, off with you. of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Hmm. Potassium. Instructions on how to build a bomb. Signed by one Kalkstain. Stain. Wyvern oil. Siri. 
Menge is following me. He has seized the treasure. He has Dandelion. You must flee. Footsteps. Not good. Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet was, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menge. Well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Henkel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist. So... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass. You don't know me one bit. All right, I lied, but only partly. Heard of beasts that are half lion, half eagle. Maidens who are half fish. But you'll never convince me there's such a thing as a half truth. I'll give it a shot anyway. Didn't actually see Henkel, but Menga does have your treasure. Take it you learned this by peering into a crystal ball. Maybe. Trade secret. You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand, even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Mm. Menger has been spending heaps of coin lately, though to my knowledge he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menger spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit. Ask where he's holding my... But Menga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure... Information's out of date. We are not. Yes, I know. You parted a week after the summer to block Muin, in the woods near where the Lixella flows into the Pontar. But you know what they say. Old love never dies. First. First love. Now how the hell... <laughs> That's my secret, lovebirds. Really must be going. Good luck. Didn't have to disagree so strongly. Put yourself in my shoes. What would you have said? In your shoes, I wouldn't be worrying about what to say to Dijkstra. At all. But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere. And Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen. Meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right. See you then. And thanks.